Good evening. Welcome to this first episode of Doorway to the Paintings. And wherever you're at, whether it's dark or cold, wherever you may be watching from, I think we have a very, very good painting to look at tonight. This really stimulates the imagination, I think. It would be great for a storybook, a bedtime story. I really like this painting. I think it's one of my favorites. And I made it a little fake. I used a lot of impressionism on purpose. I definitely did not want this to look realistic because it would lose so much style and character. And when you try to make things look exactly like real life, you're stuck in that box of reality. But when you use impressionism in a mixture of realism and impressionism, you can invent and create more. So let's get deep into this painting and I'll show you the, the correct view of this painting because actually the castle, you're in another dimension right now. Maybe you don't know it, but this is another dimension because the castle in reality is actually on this side. So let's take a look at this painting and get deep into the forest, into fairy tale land. There's the whole painting. Got the nice castle there. Where is the princess? Could this be the princess here? I don't know. Maybe she's sleeping in this window. In a deep sleep full of dreams. In a deep, deep sleep. Or maybe it's in this window. Or the other window. Who knows? If you were in the castle, what would you dream about if this was outside this forest and you knew about the tales of creatures? If you knew that this ogre, this giant, could be roaming the forest? What could be back into the forest? If you let your imagination run free, there could be a lot of things back there. A lot of things. Hmm. I even gave this bush an expression. He's looking over here at the village people. There's actually only four people that I painted in the painting besides these two creatures over here, but I painted four. Tried to give them a decent amount of character. I think this character probably has the most character and style, just the way he's built. The shoes. He probably walks this path. They probably all do. You got this stump with the axe. The trail goes into the forest. There's multiple trails that go into the forest. Got this character here. Looks like he belongs in the castle. I'm not sure if that's the princess or not. It might be. I think when I painted this, I kind of had that in mind. Maybe the princess or maybe the king and the queen they could be asleep in this castle what a view think about it if you were in that castle and you looked out and you could see these stars you could see the mountains the mountains in the distance gee that's a 
that's a creature I would definitely not want after me, especially late at night walking in this forest. There's his feet. I think you could see one of the trails just right here, kind of under the bushes, and it would come around up here. And look at, I think one of the trails goes into this forest, and it might take you all the way up into the mountains. He looks like a very angry giant, a giant ogre that is on the attack. He's going to have to bend way down to get in that door. He can actually probably reach up into the one of the windows up here, perhaps. And this character here looks like a giant reaper. Let's zoom in on these characters. Yeah, this really reminds me of a fairy tale, a bedtime story. They better go inside the castle really quick. They better get armed too with swords, spears, bow and arrows, <laughs> the weapons of the day. Get the full view again. Maybe there's a werewolf in the forest. Maybe there's a frost giant in the mountains that'll come down. I have a painting about the frost giants. And I'll have to show you that in the future when I make another video. There could be werewolves. There could be maybe in the mountains more giants. There could be dragons. There could be all kinds of creatures in that forest. There could also be creatures that we don't even know about. I tried to give everything somewhat style and character in this painting. The trees have style. As you come out here, these trees have more leaves that you can actually see. They're more defined. There's rocks. I don't know. Did I show you those rocks earlier? There's more rocks here. zoom back out. <laughs> it's easy to zoom back out when I'm holding the phone. <laughs> I'm just doing this with my simple phone, guys. Kind of gives it a charm, though. There's a sign here. What's it say? Who knows? I had fun painting this, but it took me a long time, really a long time to paint this. I think three or four hours. That might not be a, a long time to a lot of artists. Some artists spent days on their paintings. Usually I spend an hour doing my nature ones, sometimes 45 minutes. But other paintings could be two or three hours. This painting here took me about, I'd say, two and a half, three hours. 
I would say about that. Some of my other paintings, like this one, probably just took an hour to do with the leaves and I love the rain. I'll do a video perhaps on that painting in the future. I definitely want to do a video about this one in the future with this character, Gramas. I think this character here, is, as far as the monsters go, I think is my favorite. Obviously, he's one monster, and then you just got this guy here, so there's only two, but when I say he's my favorite, I, I think he matches this really, really well. Even if I were to put other giants in here and other creatures, I think this one here, this creature, would match it and go better with this painting almost more than any other character that I would paint, except maybe for a werewolf. If I painted a werewolf, and I do have werewolf paintings, and I'll probably make videos about those in the future, too. This is definitely one of my favorite paintings. I looked at this painting before I went to sleep, and it helped me to sleep better. Just it reminded me of fairy tales that you would read before you go to sleep, or maybe your parents would read to you before you slept. I want to zoom in on him. He's not a happy camper. I wouldn't want him after me. I really like his face. His hand is pushing back the tree there. His other hand is pushing that tree, wading through there, making room for himself as he comes out of the forest. And I tried to make sure that he was looking at the townspeople. I think when I painted this, originally this was the princess here. I think that's, that's right. I painted this maybe uh, 10 years ago. And this character I painted before I painted this Reaper character, I believe. That Reaper character is scary, though. The all-black outfit. Your imagination could run away with you as far as what his face looks like. You can just see in your mind's eye maybe a skull face and he's coming out of his dimension. He might not have even have been from the forest. He might have came up from the underworld. Who knows? Came up from the underworld to grab somebody and take them down with him. As far as the lightning goes, it doesn't make much sense because you don't see the clouds. I mean, I can argue that the clouds are out of sight, but I didn't even care about that. This painting has a lot of impressionism and imagination, so you can paint anything you like. Uh, I just like the way it looks. I mean, to be honest with you guys, that's why I painted it. I like the way it looks, and I love how it looks next to the mountains. And I don't think I did it on purpose, but it's almost like there's faces. You can see faces in the mountains. I had a lot of paintings that I painted that looked like there were faces in the mountains. Like you could say that there's an eye here and here and then a mouth. Uh, my frost giant painting, I made the frost giant kind of blend into the mountains. And he looks like a mountain. When I show it to you in the future, if I make a video about it, he looks like one of the mountains. That looks like a face right there, too. The mouth and the two eyes. Those mountains have character. 
And just looking at the mountains all by themselves is a story onto its own. Who knows what kind of creatures or abominable, like abominable snowman, frost giant type creatures that can live out there. And when you look at a painting like this, at least when I look at it, I always wonder what's beyond this point? What's beyond this point? What's behind the mountains? I always, when I see paintings like this and certain other types of paintings, I always ask myself that question. Also, there could be hidden dangers in the castle itself. Look at those windows. What could be in there? What could be lurking in the shadows? And the trees, the green trees. There could be something or someone looking out one of those windows. Could have done that too. I do have a painting where there is a care more than one painting where there's a character looking out the window or even where the body is sticking out. I think I have one where an elf is playing a flute while his body is sticking out of a castle window. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. Maybe. It's probably buried under, uh, under a stack of paintings somewhere. And I made multiple paths, so it kind of stimulates the imagination. Where do they take you? I never made one going down here, though. Maybe I should have. But I, I kind of like this part, going back in here. And then it can lead you all the way up into these mountains where the frost giants roam and where angry wizards plot with their magic to destroy castles and kingdoms. <laughs> Who knows? Just kidding, I think. I think. Yep, there he is. Who's going to win? Give you another view here. Back up so you can see everything. Yeah, there's so many parts to this painting that I appreciate. It really, really makes me think of multiple stories that could be made from this. I just grabbed that frost giant painting real quick so you could see what I was talking about. See the frost giant's face? He looks like one of the mountains. In fact, I had this painting hanging up at work and one of my co-workers didn't even see the frost giant until a few days later, or I might have even had to have uh, pointed it out to him. And I'm going to do a video on this one. This is for another video, but I'll do a video on this one in the future. The old Norse storyteller has warned people of the frost giants in the mountains. I'll do that video. Probably pretty soon. It might even be the next one. You never know. Well, guys, I hope you like looking at this painting with me on the first episode of Doorway to the Paintings. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I think that I might do the Frost Giant one next. I'm not sure. It'll either be that one or another one that I have in mind. But I hope you enjoyed looking at this one. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And uh, next time, I will see you when it's dark, probably after midnight. And we'll take that nightcap together on another episode of Doorway to the Paintings. So take care, you guys. Have a good evening. <laughs>